can an unbeliever experience or give true forgiveness? Yeah, I think that the, uh, the question kind of comes to us from two points of view. Uh, can an unbeliever experience forgiveness? Yes, an unbeliever can experience forgiveness. And the beginning point of that is really at the heart of the gospel and our need for salvation. That we come to the Lord Jesus Christ in repentance and faith and experience his forgiveness in our hearts and lives. And so forgiveness from God uh, in that respect. Can an unbeliever experience forgiveness from another believer or another person? Yes. Uh, forgiveness is something that is offered by a person who's been hurt or wronged or offended or has cause against another. And it's a point of releasing that individual, saying uh, you, you are released. And whether a person is an unbeliever or a believer, if they have wronged us as a Christian, we have to deal with our responsibility to forgive. In fact, most of the people probably in your life and mine that we have to forgive are unbelievers and our releasing of them from some hurt or something that happened even in the past. And so we have to deal with it from that perspective. So can they experience forgiveness and all the love and grace that goes with it, both from God and from other believers? Yes, they can. The other part of it is can they give true forgiveness? I believe that they can because any person can release another person from hurt or wrong or a debt owed, that kind of thing. Uh, forgiveness is something that happens in the heart and the mind of an individual. So a person could forgive someone even if they were not a believer. Will they fully understand uh, and grasp all that forgiveness is about? Hmm. No, uh, because they've not yet experienced the forgiveness that's in Christ. And so they don't have a, a, an in-depth understanding of it, the spiritual aspects of it but they could release a person in their own heart and mind. And so, yeah, I believe that they could uh, do that. One other brief thing that goes along with that is some people feel that uh, if a, an individual forgives them, then that means that they are forgiven in the sight of God. I knew of a man who was dying, a friend who was a Christian came by, and he had been taught, the man who was dying had been taught that someone needed to absolve him of his sin. So he asked this faithful Christian man who was a deacon and leader in the church, will you forgive my sins? And he misunderstood the concept of thinking that if we receive forgiveness from an individual, uh, that we've also automatically received forgiveness from God. It is not in our power to absolve people of their sins uh, for, before God. They still have to deal with that individually. So I, I think that uh, that addresses the heart of the matter. The answer is, I think, yes in both cases with those qualifications. That's one reason in the New Testament that the crowds were so astounded when Jesus said, uh, I forgive you of your sins, take up your bed and walk, because they responded, who is this guy that can forgive sins? You know what you're saying, that only God can do that. And so he, in that action, was representing and saying he was God. So. Any other comments from you guys in addition to Ed, or are you that brave to comment after Ed speaks? <laughs> I was thinking about that question maybe from a little different angle. You touched on it, Ed. Yeah. First John 4 talks about what love is. And so I think unbelievers can experience love, but there's this ultimate love that maybe they're missing out on. And I think that speaks to forgiveness as well, right? When they're offended, they have the ability to let it go. But there's this ultimate love. There's this love or an unforgiveness or forgiveness from the Father that only believers experience. And so I think there's an aspect of forgiveness that, uh, that we experience that they'll never truly know and understand. So. 